Hi everybody, my name is Yusuf. I'm about to start my first show and it's all about the cooking and especially Persian cook and I really don't know what the name should be. I haven't put a name. Maybe Taste of Persia in the future. The reason that I'm doing it is because first of all I love to do it and I had a passion about it and also, I started when I was 12 years old, and there is a story behind that, why I did that, and because my father had a heart attack, and, and <clears throat> after it was so severe that it was after a few months, he survived and was on a very, very uh, hard diet, which was there was no uh, uh, fat, in the diet so the doctor said you only to have to most of the time is very lean uh, beef or whatever the meat is to make a kebab with a little bit of rice so my mother was so busy about to do food for the rest of the family and that became my duty to make that for my father for so it started from there and Beside that, all my friends and relatives, they really insisted of, I show them how to, I cook, especially a kebab, which is a, this, today is gonna, I'm gonna show you how to make that Persian uh, kebab, kubide, which is a beef. I mix it with the lamb, which is gonna be more delicious, but you can have it just the beef itself. The ingredients are obviously ground beef, ground lamb, salt, pepper, very, very little of uh, garlic uh, powder, sumac, onion, and tomato for grilling, which is, goes very good with the kebab. And after I show you this, I'm going to show you how to make the rice for it, which is I usually use the basmati rice with the saffron. And uh, when, I, when I finish with this one, then I show you how to cook the rice for it. Now, what I'm going to do right now, have to grind this two onion, which is goes, this is one and a half actually pound. This is a, a half a pound. So is it ratio is three to one and there is a one teaspoon salt one teaspoon ground pepper a one eight of teaspoon of garlic powder and one spoon also a teaspoon a sumac two onion at this size for our uh, kubide is going to uh, do the job what i did i already you can grind it with the hand or just the, the grinder and uh, what I did, I already did that. And the important part is that you have to let the juice drain, the, get the onion water out of it. And I already have done that, which is right here. I'm going to show it to you. That's what I did. You see that uh, there is all the water is gone. So here I'm going to mix all this together and I'll show you how to combine these and then how to put on the uh, skewer. Here you go. Beef and a lamb. As I said, this most important part is the onion that makes the kebab. So I'm going to put this salt Pepper. You can, you know, do it your choice of, you know, how much you want to put, but that's the best measurement that I'm giving you. And most of the people, they don't put any garlic on it, but I do, and I always did. It came very good. And a sumac. They, some people, they only put the sumac after they finish, after they barbecue over the cooked kebab but I do it both way here we mix them and very careful 
to mix everything together and it takes about maybe a couple of minutes to finish it. By the way, it has to be like a, what I used it is a 15% fat. Traditionally is something around like a 25 to 30%, but I don't like that much of fat in my food. So you do it as much as you can because you, you do more here, it's gonna be easier on a skewer so it's not gonna drop over the flame or a heat. Okay, I think I have, I'm done with that, uh, what do you call a ning maybe? So if you see, I can take the whole thing and it's not gonna get apart. So, so this time, that's a good time to start putting on a square. Always you have to have a, a little bit of warm water next to it. You put your hand in there, okay? And with your hand, go and grab the handful, just this much. So at the professional, they're going like 120, 110, 100, 220 gram each one. But we, we just do it for ourselves. We're not gonna sell it. So we do whatever we like. And we go from here, starting to go down again, wet again, and repeat it till it finished. Okay, in both sides, push your finger against it all the way. Here you go. It's easy. And I'm gonna put it actually here go for the next one. So after I'm doing a couple of these, maybe I have to just finish it uh, later on and I come back again, show the whole thing. So I'm gonna do maybe two more to just you look at it again. Go here, it started from up, go down on a square, just using your finger like this. Okay, and again, you put your hand one more time in it, in the water, and go over the meat all the way to the end. The end part, you cut it like this. So, go to the next one. It all comes nice and professional look. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be very, very delicious too. So you see how easy it is? People, they think it's the most difficult thing to do, but it's not. It needs just a couple time to repeat and exercise, then you're gonna be a pro and everybody is gonna love you because you know how to make a kebab Kubide, beef kebab. Here is the one. Okay, here in this part, I'm gonna show you how to make your rice. Okay, what we need, I choose two cups of a basmati rice, which is a very nice long grain, and uh, cooking oil, salt, it's just like a three uh, tablespoon full, and saffron for the, when the rice is ready, at the finish, we, we add for the color and aroma and a taste. Okay, what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna wash the rice a few times, then I'm gonna put it on a stove and uh, put hot water. Remember, I have to put the hot water after you wash that. And up to like a, uh, three fourth of the this uh, pan or whatever you're using to to fill with the water. Then I show you when we have to take it out of the heat, which when it start boiling after a couple minutes after it start boiling, we take it and drain the water and actually r r rinsing the uh, rice and putting back again to the pot with the adding oil on the bottom of it, 
then putting the rice on it, which I'm gonna show you, and let it in a lower heat till it starts steaming. And like if 20 minutes after you steam, put something like a, a paper, paper towel or something to get the water out of it and it's gonna be ready and done. Washing it with that cold water. As you see, it, the water is kind of, you know, seems diluted and it's not clear. We try to wash it a few times till the water on the rice, it gets a little bit clearer than what it is right now. Okay, as you see, you know, not the water, it's kind of clear right now. So I guess this is the time that you have to take it and, you know, just put the water and put it on a heat and to boil it, to cook it. Okay, I drain the water because I'm gonna put the hot water on it and uh, Here is hot water. Okay, that's what I want to be. And then I'm gonna add the salt into it. Because we, we're gonna drain this water, so if it's a little bit more salt than what you think it is, it still is okay because you're gonna drain it. Okay, <clears throat> as I said, you know, it's a start boiling. Okay, this is the time that we have to take it and drain because as you see, it's kind of cooked and uncooked, you know, in between. This is the best time to take it and turn off the heat and we're going to drain And we wash it off because we want all those salt goes away. And after this, it's going to be steam cooked. We wash away the, all the salt. And it's going to be ready to go back to the pot and on the heat, but what I'm gonna do, I need some cooking oil, about like a four or five tablespoon full, and I'm gonna go put that slowly back into the pot. Okay, and put it over medium high for five to 10 minutes first. And <clears throat> then after the start, Steaming, we reduce the heat and we cover with the, either a cloth or a paper towel for another 20 minutes and it's gonna be done. When it's finished, we're gonna use the saffron. Uh, we take it on a dish, put the saffron on the top of it. All right, okay, here is we're ready for just greening this. But uh, as you see, I have a very small grill. I have to do a few at the time. So this is what we do. It's very, very, very important that when you do that, you just frequently from the beginning turn this around, okay? Uh, as soon as you put it, you turn it. If you wanna stick to that, it's not gonna, you know, to, to, to drop, okay? 
So that's the key. You do it a few times. When you just hold to that the skewer, then you find you just let it cook one side and turn around but right now at this time you just keep doing it till you 100 percent sure that they are safe and is going to be sticking to the skewer okay so again uh, i have, have four or five more to finish it up, this is our grilled tomato is already done. It's beautiful, nice. So I'm gonna take this away and put it in a, a dish, make it ready for the rest of the food. Okay, I see you soon. Bye now. Okay, here we are, end of our journey, and this is my final product, which is a nice, beautiful, tasty Persian kebab. And as you see with the grilled tomato and a nice, beautiful basmati rice with the saffron on the top of it. And this is not American things, but Persian love to eat this food with raw onion and we have a mostly they use butter as an added flavor to their food and a somak also it makes it also tastier some you i put some ground pepper and a salt for people they like to add a little bit more on their food and thank you very much again for watching my show Again, this is Yusef. I have, do not have a name for my show yet, and, but I love to hear from you to just go ahead and just put your comment on that. I'm going to read all. I hope that you enjoy it and uh, subscribe. I hope you're going to do it more and more. Oh no, that's what I think I have a plan to do it every week, one show. Okay, be in touch with me. And thank you again. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.